Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I have a May favorites video for you. And it's everything that I've been loving in May. And May's my birthday month. And I turned 21, so that's pretty cool. Even though I didn't really have that good of a birthday, it was still a good month. And I'm happy that it is now summer. Although I kind of missed my birthday month already. So I have a couple of favorites for you guys today. One of them is makeup. I have fashion, music, and television because those are all my favorite things in the whole entire world. Uh, so, so my first favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff so much. Anastasia is such a good brand for eyebrows. If you want your eyebrow game to be strong, go and check them out. It's worth the money, I swear. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything, but like I really do believe in these products, so. So I use the Dip Brow Pomade and I used to use the shadow because I thought that like the shadow would just be good to like fill in my eyebrows and stuff. And sometimes I do use the shadow, but most of the time now I've started using the um dip brow and I love it because it kind of acts as a wax as well so it keeps all my eyebrows um, hairs in place because sometimes I like to go crazy uh, yeah so my next favorite is the Cinderella MAC palette oh my gosh I love this palette so much and I know that like a lot of these colors are repeats and stuff but I don't even care because it's Cinderella and it's MAC. Those are like two of my favorite things in the world. So, so this is it right here. I've been absolutely loving this. This is the Stroke of Midnight palette. And if you can ever like find this or something, just go out and get it because I love it. If you can find this, even if it's at your like CCO, oh my god, throwback CCO, cosmetic counter outlet, mm -hmm, then it definitely, I would definitely suggest going and pick this up because it has all great colors and I think it would be great for any skin tone, so. One of my favorites. My next favorite is the Rema London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. And I didn't think I was going to like this one as much. But it kind of has a peachy, yellowy like undertone to it. So I use this to um, cover like under eye circles. And then like matting this whole area out. Which doesn't look very matte because I just got back from my internship so <laughs> definitely I really like this and I got it in nude beige and I think that I got a color too light for my skin but once again like I said how I use it kind of as almost like a highlighter in a way because I just do like my t-zone and then underneath my eyes and I think it works perfectly fine so I've been loving this which is really funny because I didn't think I would like this but I actually do so hmm plot twist all right so my next favorite it's kind of a throwback. It's the Naked Palette, and I've been using this a lot at the, like the end of May, towards the end of May. I actually have it on my eyes right now, which you probably can't see, but that's okay. So I've been using Half Baked and Sin both together on my lid, and if you know, these are the two colors: this gold color and then this shimmery, uh, pinky nude color that's a little bit shiny. Um, I've been loving this palette once again. This is my favorite palette ever. I think this is my favorite out of all the Naked palettes. Especially Naked, the color Naked. I hit Pam, so I'm using it sparingly <laughs> on special occasions. My next favorite is this brush right here. I, oh my god, okay, it just looks like, ugh, I can't even, hashtag, I can't even. This is, ugh, I can't even speak. This brush is absolutely awesome. Love it so much. I didn't want to spend too much money on this kind of brush because I knew that if I didn't like it, then I would just regret buying it. So I went to Target and of course they had it and of course I got a discount because Target is awesome. And yeah, so I got this um, buffing brush. Is that what it's called? I think a, buff a buffing brush to put on my foundation. It works really, really well. And I don't know if I like this better or if I like my, like, beauty blender, like, my sponge better. But those are favorites as well. So next on to fashion favorites. I want to get this one out of the way because it has all my stuff in it. But my first fashion favorite is my Vineyard Vines bag. And I absolutely love this tote bag. First of all, it fits all my stuff for my internship. And second of all, it's great to like and sturdy and I know it's always going to be there and it's just great bag. 
So I can fit all the stuff that I need for my internship, plus I can't, although I can't fit my lunch in it, but that's besides the point. But I have everything that I need to tag along on public transportation. But yeah. Sticking with the whole Vineyard Vines craze, my next favorite is my Kentucky Derby skirt. I'm so happy I bought this, even though uh, Kentucky Derby's over, whatever. It's pink, it has roses, and it's seersucker. So, this part of skirt is going to be great for, um, like, graduations and so much more. And I'm just so excited because I finally got it. And yeah, pretty much. My second favorite, which I actually got on my birthday, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I got this. It is the Lily Plitzer dress, and I forget which dress it is, but I will leave, like, an annotation somewhere of what dress this one actually is. Absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. The shift dresses don't look good on me because I have a curve to my body, and I'm not a string bean, you know, like, I'm not this way. I'm, like this way so these kind of dresses that cinch in on the waist are like my holy grail because I need more room on my hips but I need less room on this area so these dresses are great for me and I absolutely love this print so much this is one of my favorite prints of the moment um, that she has out so that's always cool my last fashion favorite are these pants from Forever 21 and they remind me of the ones that Kendall Jenner wore at Coachella like last year. Wow, it's already been last year and people are still talking about that. Mm, good fashion moment. So they are just these wild and crazy print with a flare bottom. And I absolutely love flare bottoms. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I'm so happy that they're back. Those and halter tops were my top two things that I said that I wanted to like make a comeback. And they came back. So just a little... Yeah, raise the roof. I also have a book favorite I almost forgot. So my book favorite right now of the moment that I've been reading for like a while and I've only gotten through like yay much. But um, this is Looking for Alaska by John Green. I've actually read Paper Towns too. That one also was really, really awesome. So I will also have a little like yay Paper Towns as well. And I'm so excited for the movie to come out. Oh my gosh, ah, I'm so excited. And Looking for Alaska is actually really good so far at least and I think I might be doing a, a book review on Paper Towns and then I might be doing a book review on Looking for Alaska as well. If you guys want book reviews just let me know because then I'll motivate me to read. Woo! So yeah I've actually surprisingly somehow some way I've been reading so I mean that's good because I hardly read. So yeah Looking for Alaska as well. That one's really really awesome and John Green's a youtuber so go John Green hey and awesome and you guys are great like you and Hank are awesome and I love your channel so shout out to them hi so now it is time for favorite songs of May so my first favorite song and I actually really love this song for some strange odd reason I really like walking to it um this one is called Firestone by I think it's Ka Koito K-Y-G-O that song, really love. Awesome song. My next song is Peanut Butter and Jelly by Galatis. Galatis? These are really hard names to pronounce. I picked really bad people. I'm just kidding. I picked really weird names. Okay, but you know what? They have really good songs. So Peanut Butter Jelly is also another really like fun song just to like jam out to. You know, like, yeah, in your room by yourself, right? Mm, yeah. All Hands on Deck by Tanashi. Tanashi. Is that how you pronounce it? I forget. I don't know. Actually, I don't forget because I don't know. But, all hands on deck. On the front, all in the back, just like that. Like that. That song, yeah, that song's really good. Also, Somebody by Natalina Rose. Although I say it, Natalina Rose, but it's actually Natalie La Rose. But it sounds like she's saying Natalina Rose. So, like, that's why I say Natalina Rose. I wanna rock with somebody. Hey, that song. Okay. So now for TV favorites. I have a few TV favorites that are just like random because May didn't have that much TV to watch, honestly. So I just picked a few of my favorites right now of the moment. And one is Wayward Pines, which just started. It's like one of those awesome like TV um, 
12 series dramas and it's really cool it's about this guy and he um is in the fbi he gets onto an assignment that brings him to wayward pines and wayward pines is like a place that you cannot get out of so that's kind of like where we're at right now so it's pretty cool Another one is American Odyssey because if you didn't know, I was actually on American Odyssey for like 2.5 seconds, but hey, I was still on it, right? It was really, really awesome to be on set and everything. So I was in the pilot episode and I will include a picture here. So that was me in American Odyssey and I was so excited. If you blinked during that last five minutes, you probably missed me, but I was there. I was on TV, national TV. So, <laughs> That was so awesome and I had such an awesome time and I love being on set. So hopefully one day I'll be able to do that again. Yeah. Oh, another favorite that I have for TVs is Jamae because I rewatched Jamae. <laughs> As I love Australian people. I've been watching so many Australian YouTubers. Oh, I probably should have included YouTubers. I'll do that next month. But seriously, Jamae is just awesome. <laughs> if, you, if you, okay. If you don't know who Jamae is, just go and look her up. Also, H2O Just Add Water, which is kind of a favorite, but kind of not a favorite at the same time. I've been watching it, but like, have I been enjoying it? And maybe for the first couple of episodes, but like, not really now. It's the old one, too. So it's with uh, Phoebe Talkin, I think her name is. So it's that one. And it's kind of going a little slow right now, and I can see why it kind of stops. But it's a pretty good series at the same time. It's kind of a kid series, but hey, whatever. Another favorite is 90210 because I'm re-watching that. I started re-watching it like a while ago and then I just kind of picked it back up and started watching it again and I actually really enjoy 90210, so that was pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you actually stuck around to this, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and also follow me on Twitter. It's at Elizabeth Hope just like this channel, and on Instagram, at Elizabeth Hope, just like this channel, um, and also my blog if you want to go and like check it out too. <laughs> oh, also, BTW, I'm sorry for not uploading, but I'm trying to stick with my schedule. It's very hard because I just had my first week of internship, and it was very long. It's five days a week, so, <laughs> yeah, nine to five. I'm working a nine to five thing, yeah, uh, you know. It's a lot, but I'm going to try to keep up with my YouTube videos as well because I really want to do it because it's something that I love to do. So thank you guys from so much for watching again. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!